In 1.0.4, the way the soldier works in refined storage did significantly change. And here is all you want to know about it. Prior to this version, you had to put the materials in the exact spot where they belonged to start the crafting. Like for example this. That led to um, rather complicated designs like this, where you have to pump or pipe the materials in the exact spots for the soldier to automate crafting processes. Fortunately, this is no longer the case. You can just shift click the materials in and because the soldier is now an intelligent block, it does exactly know where to put the materials for the recording recipes. For example, if you want to craft uh, a basic processor, all you need to do is shift click the materials in and it will start crafting as soon as it has all the materials present. This does simplify the automating crafting with the soldier by a lot. To make, let's say, an advanced processor, you would need the following processing patterns. So, go into your processing patterns encoder. You would need a, a printed advanced processor made from a diamond. We will make the processing patterns like uh, this. And remember, you always have to put the result of the process on the right side of the table. So you have to manually craft it at least once to have the result present. Create the pattern for it, printed advanced processor. Do the same for the silicon, because we need the printed silicon for the processor itself. Write the pattern and then do the um, advanced processors itself with that, this and the silicon. And I don't have the right product on me. Let's grab it. Good. The order in which you place those items in here doesn't really matter. It could look like this, this, like that, or like this. Just for clarity though, I prefer the way it is actually made in the soldier. So make the patterns, grab a crafter, grab a solderer, place it in front of the crafter. Remember to put the importer underneath the solderer. Put your fresh new three patterns into the crafter uh, and then you can see here this is your newly made crafter this one here and when you craft it now it will craft all the missing ingredients and then the finished processor look well, let's start one here it goes also remember that you can put up to four speed upgrades into the solar or the crafter and it speeds up the crafting by a lot I just made a bunch of crafting recipes for the soldier to show you how the crafting queue is working. Let's just start a bunch of different crafting tasks. Now we started a whole bunch of different things and the soldier will work through it as you can watch in the soldier or in the crafting monitor. As you can see, all the crafting recipes queued up just fine and the crafting just finished. The way I set this up right now is with a bunch of crafters surrounding the soldier because we have only nine pattern spaces left in each crafter and uh, each one of them is filled up completely. And so we can just surround the, the soldier with crafting tables. Theoretically, you can surround it completely with crafters, except the slot in the bottom where the importer back into the system has to be. Just remember always to put the uh, front side of the crafter facing the machine it should craft with. You can rotate the block with a wrench. And lastly, an advice in terms of speed. If you separate basic ingredients from processors and machines, you could improve the crafting speed by a lot. So this machine here is now crafting just printed silicon, while this here is making printed uh, the basic processors, and the one in the middle is crafting 1K storage blocks. So if you separate different crafting queues from another, you could improve crafting speed by a lot. And that's it for the solar change. See you next time, take care of yourself guys, and rock on!